right, so we've got a couple of different knife options today. Um, it's kind of been a debate on which is the quickest one to pull out, the easiest to access, the best to use one-handed. So I'm basically going to give you guys some options. Um, my personal favorite is the Spyderco Delica. That one right there. I had made a video on it earlier. It's got the uh, Emerson Wave, so you can pull it out of the pocket real quick. Basically, you just wear it on the side of your pocket, clear your clothes, just drag it on your pocket, and it opens on the way out. So, one more time. Just basically move your clothes, pull the knife out, and ready to go. Another option is a push button type knife. Uh, you've seen these with the military quite often. It's got a safety that you have to push down, push the button and it opens. So, there's some pros and cons with this one. Uh, one of the cons is that you kind of have to think about it, click and click twice. I mean, it comes out pretty quick. It's good when you're not nervous or in a fight and someone's trying to hurt you or something. Uh, but the con is that if you are in a fight, you have to get it out, flip the switch, push the button. This specific model is uh, Gerber. It's a little slick. As you can see, I've just basically taken some skateboard tape and added it for grip. It's a great knife. It's thick. It's heavy. It's a good survival blunt object type knife. But again, it's not super, super quick. Try that one more time. About as fast as I can get it out is this. Yeah. Anyway. Another option, a good suggestion, is just a normal knife that's not that that holds itself but isn't super tight, so that it can just open when you use inertia. Um, basically, all I'm doing is holding on to the knife and using the weight of the blade to open the blade. Um, the reason why I suggest that is because, oh, and again, this is a Benchmade. You can see right there, it's just a, one of Benchmade's knives. I right now don't honestly remember the name of it, but we can look that up. Anyway, so again, just holding that on the side of the, of the pocket, pull it out, flip, and it's quickly accessible. I like this one specifically because it's got a good curve of the blade so that you can uh, use it for flaying fish, uh, you use it for skinning, cutting rope, uh, fingernail trimming, whatever it is you think you need to do with the knife, box cutter, whatever it is. And uh, one last time, it's nice because you can grab it, pull, and flip it open. Now, for self-defense purposes, there's always a suggestion of a Karama. This is 511's Karama. Um, the Karama is basically held like this. Some people will flip it open for cutting to give themselves reach. One of the complaints that people have is that Karama doesn't reach far enough, when in reality it's just an application problem that they have. Uh, they don't know how to use that for hooking motions. Um, of course you can hold this forward as well. Um, it can be used as a seat belt cutter, it can be used, it's th this 511 one is very thick, nice and thick and blunt. It can be used um, for you know window cracking, whatever it is that you need, uh, of course, for self-defense. Um, the good thing about this one is that this little uh, holster here can be worn on a necklace or on a, on a neck as a neck neck knife or I personally like to wear it in the back or the front on the side depending on which which uh, deployment technique you want to use if I just stick it right there for now you can imagine that under a shirt or something just comes up pull out quick deployment. Another karambit I have is this one and it's a scorpion's tail karambit. The reason I like this the most is it's a uh, double bladed uh, karambit. It's made by Topps Knives. I'll show you that right there. I, a uh, first special forces group combatives instructor made this knife or designed this knife I should say for Topps, Topps Knives um, and it's called the scorpion's tail. <clears throat> Again, that's a self-defense type device. You can flip to extend, cuts both directions for whatever technique it is that you're using. And uh, the thing I like the most about this 
is the little holster it's got. It's a solid little holster. Locks in solid. That clip fits on the side of your belt at a nice hard angle so that it's not imprinting on your back. I actually wear it like this so that I can hold the shirt up and just deploy it out that way. So anyway, the last option I've got is the one I'm wearing right here. And that's one of, uh, one of K-Bar's last ditch knives. It's a good law enforcement knife. For law enforcement, you would wear it right here behind your ammunition pouch so that if uh, someone's trying to grab for the gun, you've got a nice little knife that you can cut that direction. Or if you do a cross draw with it, it just comes out and pulls. And again, this one's slick, so I've just added some skateboard tape to it. This is only 35 bucks at the Sportsman's Warehouse, so that's a real cheap, thick, really nice knife. I do some leather work and I use this knife on it all the time. Great for cutting leather. And again, that's just a little K-Bar. So those are some of my EDC knives. Obviously, I don't wear them all at the same time. Um, it just depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing. And honestly, I like this one the most. It sits in my pocket comes out when I pull it out. Just a long, thin knife for uh, spreading cheese or cutting boxes open or defending myself from the uh, zombie apocalypse. This one right here is one I forgot to add. This is a knife made by Microtech right there. And uh, it's got a little extra skateboard tape here so that when I reach into my pocket, all I grab, I can use the uh, grip right there, the grip of the skateboard tape along my thumb to pull the blade out. Now this one you just push the button and it opens, pull the button and it shuts. I've also set this up so that it will work very well left handed. And the way you obviously do that is just switch the positioning of the clip so that I can pull this one out, it's already on top switch and it pops out. Lots of different options on this knife but it's really expensive and that's my last suggestion on those.